Today in this 2006 Toyota Sienna, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the eTrailer.com trailer hitch receiver, part number E98837. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. One thing you'll notice about this hitch is that it does sit as close to our body of the vehicle as possible to help give us the most ground clearance. We do have plenty of clearance around our receiver, which makes this a great hitch to use with bike racks and cargo carriers. On the side of our receiver here, you'll find our industry standard 5 8 of an inch diameter hitch pin hole that you use a pin and clip with, available separately on our website as part number PC3 to secure any of your accessories. Welded on the bottom of our receiver in the frame of the hitch are our plate style safety chain loops. What's nice about these is that if you have a large diameter safety chain hook like this one, you can still easily clip on and clip off without any problems. On the back of our receiver, we have this nice collar that's welded on to give us a nice finished look. It also does help improve the strength of the receiver opening. This hitch is rated for 350 pounds max tongue weight rating and 3,500 pounds max gross trailer weight rating. It does support the use of weight distribution and when you're using that in your trailer, your tongue weight rating increases to 500 pounds and your max gross trailer weight rating increases to 5,000 pounds. You want to make sure you do consult with the owner's manual of your Sienna and not exceed what the vehicle is rated for. Go by whichever number is less. Now one unique feature about this hitch that other hitches for the Sienna don't offer is the matte black carbide powder coat finish. It is much more rust resistant and scratch resistant than other options out there. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier. You're looking at about 10 inches from the ground to the top of the two inch receiver opening and about six inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the most part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we may or may not have an underbody panel that covers up our trunk area here. Depending upon your application, if you have it, you'll need to remove it and modify it in order to reinstall it. As you can see here, the Sienna that we have here today doesn't have this panel. We're going to look up at our driver's side frame rail and point out our attachment points. Our passenger side will be a mirror image of this. We'll have three weld nuts, two closest to the back and one closest to the front. We've already went ahead and sprayed some spray lubricant in there. And now we'll use a wire brush, which we have available on our website. It's part number 814092. And run it in and out of the threads a few times to help remove any loose dirt, debris, or corrosion. And we'll do this on all of our attachment points. With our weld nuts cleaned out now, we'll have a bolt and a conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face away from the bolt head up towards our hitch. And these will be what will secure the hitch into place. So now we'll get an extra set of hands to raise our hitch into position. We'll raise it up over our exhaust on the passenger side and then up into position. And we'll secure it with our bolts. Once we have one started several turns, it'll hold the hitch up and you can release it. All right, with all of our hardware started, we can now tighten it down using a 19 millimeter socket. Now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. And that completes our look at and showing you how to install the eTrailer.com Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number E98837 on this 2006 Toyota Sienna.